and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at Jumpstart. Um, yeah, this set is interesting. It, when it came out, it really didn't have... Uh, it came out at a really bad time, basically. Uh, we'll see. I, there's actually a lot of good stuff in this set, too. A lot of good reprints and a lot of good new cards as well. So we'll just... See if we can get lucky. There's a lot of um, very expensive cards potentially in this set as well. So let's see if we can potentially get lucky. And uh, yeah. Yeah, this set definitely would have done a lot better if it wasn't for the timing of uh, <laughs> everything going on in the world. But the first pack we do have here is Smashing. The cool cards, and we do have Volcanic Savo. So basically, what these cards are, um, they're like mini decks. If you're not aware, so what you do is you take two packs, combine them together, and then you have a playable limited deck. So basically, each pack is a separate theme. So this one's a smashing. Um, most of these usually have the rare, and then a few uncommons, and then you go through. There's there's a few good items in here. Like the bluff plans are pretty good, the thriving lands I should say. And then each pack will have its own art card, or excuse me, own specific art of the the land slot right there. There's a few of them that are actually pretty expensive in the land slots. But yeah, we'll see if we get anything good. Ooh, angels. I hope we get the Linvala versus the Bane Slayer. Nope, we got the Bane Slayer. So in some of the packs too. Like this angel pack, there's two separate versions. This you can either have a Bane Slayer Angel or a Linvala. And basically, it's random which one you get. And then we do have the Angel Planes. I know some of the lands are actually worth a few bucks as well. I know the dog one is worth a few dollars. And uh, there's a Phyrexian one. Yeah, speaking of dogs. I invoked it, I guess. Man, these things are going to open. But we do have dogs. I think the dogs one is always the same. Although Isamura, I think, is a different. You can always have, or can not always have that one. But yeah, so we do have the dog land. It's pretty, pretty adorable. Cute little dog just hanging out. Seeing what's up in the world. So there is currently at least at the time of recording, there is a $100 Mythic currently in the, I think it's the Elves pack, which also can either have the Allosaurus Shepherd, which is the $100 card, or it can also have a, uh, good lord, I can't think of the name of the card, Crater Hoof Behemoth, which is a very good commander card. Heavily armored. Alright, heavily armored. Cathar's Crusade. Hey, that's a good card, actually. Worth a few bucks. I know, and there are a few good uncommons, and sometimes there's even a few good commons in this, in the, the bottom part of the pack, other than the rare. So you can. Ooh, another angel one. Let's see if we can get Linvala. Or we'll be stuck with another Bane Slayer. Let's take a look. Hey, there we go. We got Linvala. Fantastic card. Uh, really strong. Activated abilities of creatures your opponent's control cannot be activated. So that can be very annoying. Chillic Arbiter. Oh, look, lit in the rare. Let's see. Guardian Idol. Chillic Edict. And do oh, do have another. Man, the, the specific land artworks are pretty good. Like, I know there's a few. And the Phyrexian one looks amazing. Hopefully we can get that. Well red. I'm not sure what's in this pack. So this set did suffer. Oh, the Sphinx pack. Okay. Book cakes, opt. And the book islands. Very cool. Yeah, so... The intended use for these packs was definitely in a draft environment. Minions. Ooh, I think 
ghoul call or gisa might be in this one unless i'm thinking of a different pack that might be zombies or spooky even let's take a look here nope kel's fixed fighter it's a very interesting card uh, let's see anything good in here very cool swamp though but um yeah these packs they seem very fun in a draft environment um you know you get to get together with a bunch of your friends each one picks a deck you keep swap you can swap the decks and all that fun stuff but yeah the timing plus the supply for this set was very uh lackluster to say the least i know they had a lot of issues getting it actually out to people and getting it into stores so that definitely didn't help its release but they the value in this set is very good if you can get the good card obviously but spirits, I don't think there's anything good in spirits currently. I think it's like Shacklegeist. Is it a rare? Yeah, Shacklegeist. Nothing too crazy in here, I don't believe. I know I do like the land though. It's very cool. All the spirits on the island. Oh man, don't do this to me. Oh jeez. Ooh, devilish. Let's see what's in here. Oh, Brush Taunter. It's in a set. Not the best, but I do like the the land. It's got the devil uh, mountain. That's very cool. Yeah, so some of the themes, I know I said this before, but some of the themes from the decks, they only have one uh, set like what the cards can be with no variation like i know the dog one is very stuck but a lot of like i think there's one set with like four different options you can get Ooh, almond wave's not too bad of a pick everything else doesn't look very good very cool i do like i said i like the uh, the lands they're very cool tree hugging i think there's like one good card in this i'm not sure See here. Oh, okay. Jo Joel Rell. She's from M21. Not the best. I think there is another one of this one that actually does have a decent card. But it's got the trees. Very Lord of the Ringsy. Let's see if we can get something good on this one. Archaeology. I don't think I've seen this one before. Scholar of the Lost Trove. Oh, Buried Rune's a good card. A lot of, uh... Oh, double, okay. And a very cool island. Let's see, we can... Almost halfway, just about halfway through the pack. Let's see what we get. Ooh, plus one, plus one. I do believe there's a few good cards. Branching Evolution comes to mind in this. We'll see if we can pull that. And Branching Evolution. There we go. That is a good hit. Ch oh, Champion Landholt's also a really good hit as well. I'm pretty sure that went up in price quite a bit recently. I think that's all. And then we do have the Cool Forest as well. I think that was a good pack. Spell casting. I don't think there's anything good in here. I could be incorrect though. I used to be. I was well informed in this set when it originally came out, but <laughs> seeing as how it's been out for quite a while, it's very hard to get a hand, get your hold on it. So that, we're down to the last stack here. Still no Phyrexian. Still no. Freight of Hoof and or also Shippard, which is the Elves pack, or the Lands pack even for Oracle. Scarecrow and Baird Rune again. Not terrible. Do have the Island again. Nothing new here, unfortunately. Rogues, okay. I'm, I know there's a few good Rogues in Standard at the moment. It's like the, half the meta, but... Not sure what's in here. Oh, Gaunty, okay, not terrible. And Thieves Guild, nice. Let's see, anything good? No, we do have a pretty cool swamp. 
Yeah, the addition of the, the lands in the back really make these packs a lot cooler. Let's see. Wizards. Let's see. I think Tauron's one of the options we can get. I forget the other. Yeah, we got Tauron anyway. Look at that. And let's see. Ooh, very cool. Lighthouse. With the lightning going through it, per the wizards. Above the clouds. I'm not sure what this one's even about. It's mono blue, it looks like. Above, probably a bunch of flyers. Inia's the Gale Force. Attacking creatures with flying get plus one plus one on a turn. Okay. Interesting. Let's see anything good in the Wall of Runes? Not too bad. Ooh, that's a, actually a really pretty island. Wow, sweet. Okay. Let's see what we got. Four packs left. Nothing too crazy yet. So we did get the Moonballer. Also, we get the Milling. Oh, Dragons as well. I think just totally tore the back off. Alright. So yeah, Dragons, I think, does have Terror of the Peaks in it, which is a pretty good hit. Let's see. Nope, Lothless. Bummer. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, and Gadrick. Okay. So this one does have this option, or it has... Leyland, Terror of the Peak, excuse me. And that's a very good card. But, unfortunately, we didn't get it this time with the mountain with the dragon on it. Let's see here. Spellcasting again. Let's see if we get anything crazy. Don't believe so. Oh, Emily and Gyre, that's not a bad pull, actually. There we go. Let's see here. The mountain. Alright, two packs to go. And we got dinosaurs. It would make sense that um, Allosaurus Shepherd should be in this one, right? Oh, Galt, that's a pretty good pick, though. Or at least I believe it is. Cultivate, always good. Oh, classic. Colossal Dreadmaw, of course. Which we do have. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> we do have very cool dinosaur land here. Alright, down to the last pack here. Hopefully it's something good. We got walls. I think there might be something good in the walls. I honestly don't remember. We do have Towering Titan. Okay, it's not a bad pull. And Assault Formation. Cool. Let's see. Anything else in here? Uh, nope. There is the, the walls forest. Cool. So we did get a pretty good amount of pulls. Uh, nothing insane, but pretty good. Uh, thanks for checking in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.